Hello YouTube, in this how-to I'm going to show you how to set up the Windows Remote Assistance because we're going to need it in our next exciting tutorial and the reason why we are using Windows Remote Assistance instead of some other remote control tool is the fact that it's already there and it's free. So, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the computer I'm using to control the other computer as a master and the other computer is the slave alright so in the slave computer I'm going to hit the Windows key and type remote oh, I can type remote and select the Windows remote assistance uh, click invite someone uh, I'm gonna save this file and put it in the shared folder that I can access on both of my computers but you can email this to yourself as well uh, I'm gonna set the password password and copy the invitation file in the shared folder and now this is the remote assistance uh, program running waiting for a connection in the slave computer and in the master computer I have the shared folder already open and the invitation file is in there so I'm just gonna double click it and my remote assistance opened in my left monitor so I'm just gonna bring the dialog over and the password surprise surprise is password I'm gonna bring the remote assistance right here and now in the slave computer it's asking if I want to allow the connection yes and in the remote uh, the master computer sorry I'm gonna click on the left top corner request control and in the slave I'm just gonna allow the control and that's it that's all for it and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial